Let's talk about the power of storytelling. And storytelling is so powerful, whether it's in marketing, whether it's in business, whether it is just in life in general. Um, just think back to when uh, we were kids and you'd have either mom or dad or maybe a teacher um, telling you a story or reading you a story, just how, how captivated you are and how engaged you were. Um, they weren't going over you know pie charts and graphs and metrics and, and things of those nature. They, they were telling you a story. Um, and that, that really captivates an audience. So the way, what I want you to think about in your, in your business is that people don't necessarily, you know, care about what you do as much as they care about the result of what you do. And I've told this story before, but, um, to get, to give you the cliff notes version, we had, a, uh, our dryer went out, excuse me, our washer went out and we had a, an appliance, um, repair company. Uh, come out and fix the dryer or the, the washer on the why I keep changing dryer but that's that's not what we what we wanted we had laundry piled up um, because the you know given the, the the timing they couldn't get out for a couple of days and we had two young girls so we, the laundry was piling up and our youngest daughter really wanted to wear this Mickey Mouse dress and so every day she would bring it to us and say hey you know put this Mickey Mouse dress on us or on me and of course you know I had to be the bad daddy and say, hey, you know, it's dirty, this and that. And so when we finally got the washer fixed, it was not just getting the washer fixed. It was we all had clean clothes to wear and our, our youngest daughter finally got to wear the Mickey Mouse outfit and she was so excited and she was so happy and the appliance repair guy, you know, was a hero to her. And so really think about that um, in your business, if you're if you own a catering company, it's not just the food and the service. It's that event. It's maybe that wedding that you'll never forget, or maybe it's a the business luncheon and you brought in this really good luncheon or lunch and, and impressed your uh, whoever you're you're trying to pitch that day and really landed the deal. Um, if you are um, a, a heating and air conditioning company, you know maybe you you came in and you saved the day. Uh, because their their air conditioner was out on a hot summer day or they were hosting holiday uh, company and you came in and you fixed their their heating unit just the day before uh, the, the company came and everyone had a, a great relaxing comfortable time so really get involved in your stories in fact that's one of the things that we do is we try to meet with our clients at least once a month and say hey what stories can we share on on social media in a blog post in a video um, because those types of stories are the things that really get people um, engaged in your company and engaged in your brand when i'm meeting with a, a potential client we're not going over metrics and impressions and different uh, acronyms that that they don't understand what we're doing is we're basically telling the stories of how we helped um, the this client that started out with no online presence, the phone wasn't ringing, and then through months of working with us, they were able to get this uh, gigantic following, this online presence. Now they they're hiring more employees. Uh, their their lead flow is great. They're adding trucks and things of that nature. That's what business owners want. They don't want impressions and clicks and all these types of things. So think about what your what your customer, what your client really wants, is not your business but the result of your business and the way that you convey that to them is the stories of the different people that you've helped along the way. Uh, I hope this helps in taking a more personalized storytelling approach to your marketing and look forward to hearing your next story.